the illumination of the iconic clock tower. The Purple Lights campaign aims to shine a light on what has become a growing health problem in Uganda. The fact that our people are not aware is concerning and that is why we decided that we need to do something significant, we need to light a landmark, we need to do something that will be act in the minds of the public. Campaigners gather to witness the lighting. With the slogan, we can, I can, they want more to be done to fight cancer in Uganda. Our main, main advocacy is to bring services closer to the people. We cannot have only one treatment center in Uganda. We want regional treatment center. The tower will remain lit for the whole night and passers-by will catch a glimpse of the purple light. This is a small touch by the organizers in a campaign to raise awareness of the disease that is slowly taking the lives of many. Over 5,000 cases are registered at the Uganda Cancer Institute annually, but the lack of treatment infrastructure continues to be a major concern for those diagnosed. However, a new radiotherapy machine was installed last month at a major hospital. Medical experts are now more positive than before that early detection and treatment will significantly improve survival rates. And if people really go for screening, that means we are going to catch the cancer early and it becomes cured around almost 90%. More patients are now expected to access treatment. The country's health ministry says it will continue to work to reduce the risks of cancer among Ugandans. Leon Sonyange, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.